ready to go and they sent on their way statesman could have got a better start but worse off was no filter and dr faustus first one to break the line is heirloom taken on in the early stages by stormy choice at the outside rose tinted back at the rail is third then comes statesman one off the fence and storia is on the wide outside key element also got little cover that's quite deep into the dog leg followed by no filter and dr faustus at the end of the field must be racing nearly 10 lengths off the leader and they're about to spin for home 500 meters left to run heirloom in front over stormy choice then comes rose tinted statesman's up the middle of the course dr faustus far side then comes no filter they further back, Key Element still got eight lanes to make up, but they reach the final 300 meters and Stormy Choice goes on the attack with Heirloom, forced to fight her off. Statesman's back in third, Dr. Faustus and Rose Tinson. They further back, but Heirloom battles right back. 100 meters left to run, Heirloom the leader, Stormy Choice ran her race, Rose Tinson staying on, but all too late, Heirloom finally wins. Second goes to Rose Tinson, third is tight, might just go to Stormy Choice over Dr. Faustus and Storia. So the winner is in the two shades of blue. Cabello Matsignani found uh, Heirloom willing to give him more over the final 200 meters when Stormy Choice got quite close. Rose Tinted uh, finished off her race quite nicely, so there'll be quite a lot of positivity about her performance. But at the end of it all, Heirloom finally exits the maidens. Number six, Heirlooms come through to win race number two, overdue and uh, certainly deserved. Robin Clarson, well done to New Atlas Racing. They're going to get a lovely little BSA check as well. And Pippa, well done to Pippa Mickelbrough for breeding this one, and Cabello Matsunyani for that ride. Cabello, I thought you were very clever there. You were drawn five in the end, and you made sure you got to the front. You arguably had also the best experience and best form. Yes, she had the form, and certainly she was um, long overdue to win. She was ready for this race and I mean as you said experience plays a big role there was a lot of first timers in the race got went to the front and she did she got um, to dictate and she just quick and very confident and um, she won a very impressive race and you did it in good timing because of that BSA check so the owners will be very pleased with you yes I'm pleased that the owners actually came around today and um, well done to them big thanks to um, Robin and Joshua for keeping me on on, on her um, when I rode it last time in Scottsville I did um, ask if they could put her maybe back to a five furlong and I mean, I'm glad it all worked out to get today and um, she won a very impressive race. Certainly did. Now, you've got some good rides today. I mentioned them with you off air. You've got Broadlands, Maboneng, Cold Hard Stair, Tuyuba and Beat It Gown. I mean, that is a nice card. Yes, I would say I do have a very um, strong card today. Um, I like my rides today and I'm just hoping for the best. There is a few with um, just off draws, but um, if mm. they can overcome the draws, uh, I'm sure they can produce um, good results today. Seven winners. Let's hope you get seven winners on the nine. Fingers crossed. And yeah. once again, to all um, the owners, to Robin, well done. Big thanks to everyone. And um, to my sponsors, Winning Farm, big thanks to them. Thanks, Cabello. Thank you. Cabello Matsunyani. Now let's get Robin Clarsen in. Well done, Robin. Uh, she's got it right. But I mean, her form before this was not bad anyway. Thank you. No, she's a really, really lovely filly. Um, she's definitely got the ability. She's just been so unlucky. Um, so it's about time that she got it right. She deserves it. Uh, just well done to the whole team at home for keeping this filly ticking. She's a tiny little filly um, and they just do a great job with her. Well done to them. Well done to New Atlas Racing. It's nice to have them with us today. Um, and to I think they're here because of that big, uh, big black check there. <laughs> might be, might be. Um, but, but listen, we've been uh, confident with her one too many times. So we, uh, yeah. I, I kind of just closed my eyes the last hundred and hoped that it, you know. <laughs> she kept on going. <laughs> just, yeah. um, so just really glad to be here. And to Cabello, who after he, he rode her in Scottsville, asked to mm. put her a thousand around the bend. Um, so thank you to him and well done. And uh, just uh, Godfather coming up later, a place chance perhaps? Godfather is a, a bit of a temperamental horse. I think today with a good draw, he, he, he'll have a place chance. Um, yeah, like Maybe a winning chance? Possibly a winning chance. Yes. Um, ho hoping for, for a good run. Well then. Thank you. Thank you, Robin. Please, uh, sir, step into our office as you walk past the Henneman uh, Trophy.
Yeah, lovely, isn't it? Well done, and uh, and you get the uh, check which we'll give you now. Well done. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All good. Thanks. And I mean, she deserves this more than any horse. And I, I said the same. Uh, she's got the form lines, and she's uh, kept on going. Yes, uh, as you said uh, before the race, uh, she was probably the one most deserving of the race after all the efforts and trying. But st- uh, determination, and we finally get there. And if you look at that first run when she ran two lengths behind a ripple effect, yes. uh, I mean, I know they rate that horse, so this could be exciting. Oh, yeah, I think so, definitely. We, we, we're looking forward to the future with the horse, and I think from Robin's uh, giving us that information that we there's definitely something that can still come from her. Well, glad you're here, and congratulations. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. No, please don't go, because we've got this check I was talking about. Here it is. This is the BSA bonus series check. It's 100,000 rand. Robin gets 10. And the owners get 90, but uh, maybe they can give her more. I don't know. <laughs> I'm hell, I'm trying, Robin. Well done, gents. Uh, you deserve it, and congratulations. Thanks so much to the BSA. Thank you very much. And then we've got the groom. Do not forget Walter the groom. Walter, if Walter will come through. I'm just looking for him. Walter's going to come through because we know World Sports Betting are sponsoring every race, one and a half thousand rand. Thank you so much to World Sports Betting. Walter, you're getting a nice check as well. Well done. Well done. I want to say thank you to Robin. Thank you, my staff. And yeah, you've, you've done a good job with this horse and she's going to win more. Yeah, you know, get more. Many more. Thank you. So here's your check. Don't go anywhere. Your check's coming to you. This is a World Sports betting one and a half thousand rand. Walter, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. That's Walter. Race here, number two, six, one, ten, and two. And I'm going to take the time to read those names one more time. The race is named after Warren Bailey, Benny DeVette, Royce Furry, and Greg Holm. Four of the jockeys we lost in that uh, tragic day, 1988.